Hello YouTube, my name is Wincy and we have a relatively older run actually. Uh, so we have this from Nisus X, I'm assuming that's how you say it. So we have Meteor Swarm, 5 Fat Bullets, 100 Lucha Trigger Fingers, 10 Heroes Bandanas, 1 Backup Gun, 3 Shadow Bullets, 3 Bounty Bullets, Machine Fist, or any other gun with high fire rate. We could do the claw, but... Oh god. Okay, this is with 50. This is with only 50 um, Lichy Trigger Fingers. That's that's still at least... That's still at least at least a bullet. Oh god. Okay, so we're, we're pretty much just going to wipe everything. Um, pro probably. Like 99% sure. Boom! <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay, well, we're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna wipe stuff. Uh, we're gonna hope for the best, I guess. That is pretty much going to fire as quickly as we can click. Aha! You know what? You know what? We got, we got stuff. Let's, let's do this. Let's try and just, um, boom. <laughs> oh god, it's, I don't know, man. The bullets, I think, are too big. They, they suffer from that whole thing where the bullets get so big that they actually, like, they disappear. They're still technically being shot, but their sprites no longer appear because they don't have the room for it. They're still hitting the enemy. Um... If we're within a certain distance to the enemy, but yeah, it's it's weird, right? It's weird, but it works. Anyway, how was how has your day has been? Our days have been interesting. We've been looking for houses recently. Recently, um, it's been interesting. Not too many places around here in our price range, but we're still trying to find stuff. We're still we're still hopeful. We're gonna get something. It's gonna be good, I think. Uh, because as is, we are renting right now, we'd rather, you know, like, rather not anymore, right? Renting, if if you're just getting out into life, um, oh god, there we go. There's the burst. Shit. And of course, I walked right into that. Um, renting's expensive, man. Renting's really expensive, because, you know, you're... Gull? Yeah, I figure. <laughs> um... And because the the thing is, you know, you you are actually more or less like taking care of someone's house. Did I get hit? I honestly can't tell. Okay, I don't know what that was, but whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna like keep dodging, shooting, and occasionally dodging. Um, I can't actually see where. Oh god. Okay. I, I, I couldn't see anything there. Oh my god. Like, like, legit. I could not see anything. Maybe... Okay. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Um... The Phoenix is rather large. Why don't we play with that instead so that we don't completely and totally like the game out, right? <laughs> that was ridiculous. Couldn't see shit, though. Um... Yeah, so, you know, like, renting is is very expensive because you're essentially taking care of someone's house while also living in it. You know, people, of course, want to make sure that they're doing that right. And, of course, the rental price is to essentially just get rid of people that most likely wouldn't be able to do that or don't care, right? So, of course, it's going to be more expensive. Owning your own house is... It's cheaper in the fact of usually like monthly payments and stuff but of course you still have to actually pay for everything you know you if you are owning your own place you don't actually have like a landlord that you can just say hey this this shit's broken that was weird did you see that that was really odd huh um i mean like that that actually um for some people that's very obvious but for some people it's not you know when you actually go to go and buy your own house that's it. It's yours. That's it. From then on, you do everything. And that's, like, it's a blessing and a curse. Because if you're a handyman or if you're someone who's very, you know, like, um, inclined to that nature, then it's going to be fine because you're going to save so much money not even not need to worry about it. If you're someone who is not as inclined in, you know, like, house repair and things like that, uh, it's not going to be that great, <laughs> you know? 
because you're going to end up spending a lot of money. But the whole, the conventional thought, yeah, that's that's weird. Like, we're essentially just shooting it. The sprites just aren't appearing anymore. You know, the conventional thought of it is, of course, um, well, there we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. The, yeah, the conventional thought is that, you know, you're saving money monthly, so you can actually start saving up to for, you know, repairs in case something breaks or what have you. Or in case, you know, like your car breaks or something like that. Um, I know a few people that are, like, just getting out of, you know, a uh, bit, bit of younger people, family and stuff like that, that are just getting out into the world. And they're, uh, you know, a little, little, little surprised at everything that's in life and what it is that you actually need to do and unfortunately you know once you once you're in the real world there's really not too much that you can uh it's it's all you man what in the hell is even going on there did i did it just ricochet off and hit the second one or was that like a splash effect that's weird what's that that's the saa or the trick gun Ooh, what the hell is this? Let's let's pew it. Okay, I can't pew it this way, obviously. Um, but yeah, you know, some people, some people aren't exactly ready to, you know, go out into the into the real world. They still want things to be like, you know, more or less given to them. And unfortunately, at some point, we all have to face it, right? At some point, we all have to be adults. But I'm still hopeful. I'm hopeful for this year. Um, we're gonna. I, I think we're gonna. We're gonna get a place. We're gonna be able to get on top of things. It's gonna be great, you know. Maybe like two, three years from now, we'll be able to like upgrade our cars. Maybe go take a vacation somewhere. Yeah, do do something neat like that. Live the American dream. All that good stuff. Um, if you by chance are not American, well, you know, you can live whatever whatever nation or nationality is your dream is. I'm sure there's a Canadian dream. Probably involves a lot of maple syrup and moose. Also, that was that was completely joking, 100%. I know there's more to Canada than maple syrup and moose, and not everyone in Canada is nice. I know, I know, it's okay. Some of us live vicariously through uh, <laughs> through stereotypes. I of course joke, I'm definitely joking. Oh God, there we go. Um, for any of y'all that were watching the ARC series, by the way, I think we're gonna stop that. Because, like, I just I just haven't had the interest to play it. After, th this would be, like, my fourth or fifth ARC series, and I'm like, uh, you know, do I really want to grind through all this again? Nah. I may make some building videos, like creative building videos, but that's gonna be... That'll be down the line. Whenever I actually feel... Ah, uh, fuck. Whenever I actually feel like building. Um... Or we're gonna try something else. Did you did y'all like Factory Town? Is that something y'all would want to see? It would be it would be a bit more of like editing and heavy bullets are right, whatever. Uh, be a bit more of like editing and uh, grinding a little bit, but it's really good, really good. Uh, whatever. We may actually hold off for any series until uh, we get Satisfactory because Satisfactory looks like it's gonna be so good. Where is she? Okay. I can't tell where the tears are. Not tears, whatever. Yeah, I can't tell where the shots are, so uh, that's going to be fun. Oh. I think we're good. I think we're good. Good. Die. Thank you. Okay, so we had to tank that because, um, <laughs> couldn't see shit. <laughs> and that's, <laughs> that's just great. What is that? It's a macho brace. Value for effort. I'm good. Um, this was neat. Yeah, I don't know about that. We may actually use the, um, we may actually get really close to the boss and then, like, pop that shotgun that we got. It might be a good idea. Or we'll, we'll keep playing with the Phoenix for the time being. Because it, 
seems like we're kind of just hitting enemies. Seems like it. I'm not 100% sure on that. Also, dude, that sound. There we go. Uh, the icebreaker. There we go. Well, boop. Oh god. Oh god. That was that was <laughs> that was legitness. Okay, that was scary. Oh god. Okay, so in the future get come on. Okay, yeah, in the future, maybe not add like 10 fat bullets. Might might be a good idea, actually. Because i not really sure how the fuck it is that I'm currently hitting enemies. Because, like, the, the shots are kind of glitching. It seems, you know, it does seem very obvious, but... Uh, okay, there, there, we, there we go. We're, we're somehow hitting enemies very far away from us. I I think. I don't know, dude. Like, I don't know if we have the HP to fucking tank through this. Because I have a feeling we're going to have to tank this again. Because I can't see the... I can't see the fucking bosses. This is ridiculous, right? <laughs> I mean, this gun's actually pretty powerful with this. But, like, I still... Um... Got the heart holster, fuck it. What's this energize with? All out of law. I'm all out of law. I'm so lost without law. I need you in my law. Okay. Okay, I was like, I can't see where it is that I'm going. Okay. There we go. <laughs> it's like a quick flash, and then just everything dies. I mean... And for some odd reason, enemies are getting, like, rocketed over to me. I think we're, we're playing with the physics in not a good way. We're, we're definitely playing with the physics in a way that the game really doesn't want us to be doing. But we're doing it, so, you know. Yeah, see, I don't know. There we go. I'll say, I don't know why it sometimes work, works and sometimes doesn't. I, I, I have no fucking clue what we got. I don't have the money for it yet. I'll get, I'll get your money. Don't you worry about that. <laughs> so... How's this going to work? Ready? <laughs> you know, I was hoping it would at least do something, man. God dang. That was horrible. Ah, uh, the unfinished gun is not good. Phoenix up. Oh yeah. Uh, I think the phoenix... Yeah, now we have ourselves a little phoenix. Get out of here with that. Okay, we should be good now. Uh, yeah, I think, I think we're good. Did I want the heroin? So it's not even going to do anything. Oh, that was a laser weapon. I might have broke it. Alright, come on. Pray with me to the Gungeon Gods. Alright, repeat after me. O oh, Gungeon Gods, who art in thou video game, please, 
Please, please, unfuckle my game. Ramen. Alright, don't forget to post that in the comments. Ramen. I don't know if you didn't. Game crashed. Alright, and we're back. We just have to, uh... And kind of go through the um, go through the floor again, and we'll be golden. So, motherfucker, that was ridiculous. <laughs> oh god. Well, uh, you know, we tried. <laughs> we definitely tried. Um, was it great? Not really. <laughs> Not really, if we're being honest. Oh boy, that was that was just a heap and helping of fun. All all along the uh as Jimi Hendrix would say, all along the watchtower, there's absolutely nothing going on. Great song too. Uh cover from Bob Dylan, but still, great song. I don't know if that hit me. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I was like, is there a chest here? Maybe. I don't know at this point. We already know what's going on, so we don't even need to open the chests, actually. All along the watchtower. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Said the Joker to the thief. I don't know. I forgot the frickin' lyrics. We're just gonna grab this and hope that we get junkin'. Yeah, we're just gonna break, like, everything. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know why? You know why it glitched? It's because not enough of y'all said raw men. I'm telling you, man. It's like it's like Goku in the spirit pub. I need you. I need your energy. All right, let's just fucking fight whatever the hell we're fighting. You know. Oh, God. Do you think I can see anything? Because I can't. I'm just guessing. Okay. Did we beat him? Great. And we somehow survived. I don't know how the hell we survived. <laughs> like, legit. I have no idea how we survived. Not grabbing that. Okay, I was gonna say, that's not a mimic, is it? Um, can't we... Po Tang Show Lee go find the shop? Was there, wasn't there a heart locket in the shop? Yeah, there had to have been, because we don't have the heart locket yet. There we go. I really have no fucking clue how these physics are working. Because, uh, they, they doing some weird things to these enemies. Like... Talking really freaking weird. Like, look, somehow those slimes just jumped across. I have no clue how. There we go. I think if we, like, just directly... I think if we straight aim at an enemy, it doesn't matter where they are, I'll hit them. Let's test that, shall we? No, okay. I was gonna say, as long, I think as long as there's a direct line of sight, we're good. But I'm not 100% on that either. Ugh. Ugh. This is this is just terrible, I tell ya. Also, I have no idea what I'm doing. At this, po at this point, come on. Does Ed do any of us know what the hell we're doing? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure not. Oh god. Just, like, can the game not glitch anymore? <laughs> okay. Well, that's dead, so that's neat. Alright, uh, Melting Rock? No, I'm good. I will grab the HP, though. Uh, let's just go to the next floor. Fudge, you know, you know, man, let's just jump right into it. And, of course, jumping right into it is the, uh, the, the, the Gungeon floors. I mean, we already know what's gonna happen. 
Also, I don't really see myself surviving the dragon fight, mainly because I can't see the shots. <laughs> That's the really bad thing, right? Boop, boop, boop. Because... Oh, fuck. I was stuck on a wall. There we go. Still have no idea what the hell's happening there. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you can make copies all you want, but if I fill the entire room with ammo, then it's not going to do anything now, is it? Oh, I didn't even know. I thought those were the, uh, I didn't notice what type those were. I thought those were bullshit. Oh, of course, the little slime is going to be the one that freaking kills me. I figured there's no real point in dodging because there's a chance I just dodge into enemy bullets that I launched somewhere around, so... There you go, perfect, uh, perfect display of... Perfect, masterful display of dodging, I can't use that. Any laser weapons, it'll just completely glitch. Take it, rat, see if I care. It's a gun that I wasn't going to use anyway. I was just kind of hoping it was going to be a passive. You know what I want to play that I haven't played in forever? Fucking Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1 was a really good game. You know? You know, man? We still have to finish that Bloodborne playthrough, but... I think it's going to be more of, like, me periodically just grinding in the Chalice Dungeons more than anything else on there. We were doing that on Twitch, but me... You know? Oh, God. Oh, God. There we go. Nerd. You know what? Let's try it again. Fuck it. Sure thing. You know, I was kind of hoping that... The <laughs> I was kind of hoping it would just pop and blink all of them at once, right? I was really hoping that would be, you know, in the cards. Oh god. I... <sighs> Motherfucker. That that was a run doomed to fail from the start. Just, just look at that. That is ridiculous. All of this is ridiculous. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to see some more ridiculous challenges where I failed them due to my own inadequ inadequacies. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.